Multiplication of algebraic expressions. In algebra, we can multiply algebraic expressions, terms together, no matter what pronumerals they have. So unlike addition and subtraction, where we have to look for like terms, with multiplication, no, we can multiply everything together. It doesn't really matter. So let's go through some examples and to see how easy it is. And you're going to notice it's very straightforward. There's nothing really to look for as long as you know your times tables. Here we have 3n times 5b. 3n times 5b. Again, we don't worry about like terms. With multiplication, it doesn't matter. So 3n times 5b, simple. We know our times tables. 3 times 5 is 15. B, N, or N, B. But it's better to put in alphabetical order. So 3 times 5, 15, B, N. It's that easy. Here, 5, A, B times 6, G. Again, we just multiply the numbers. 5 times 6, 30. And we don't forget... A, B, G are our pronumerals, A, B, and G. So 5 times 6, 30 A, B, G. Now, let's do another two more. We have 3 A times 12 G times 2. Again, we multiply everything. So, 3 times 12, 36. 3 times 12, 36. 36 times 2, 70. 2AG. So 3 times 12 is 36 times 2 is 72. Again, we put the pronumerals AG. There they are. We put them in our answer. Our final answer 72AG. Now we have 5XY times 6G times negative 3. We multiply the numbers. 5 times 6 is 30, then 30 times negative 3. So we know that 30 times 3 is 90, and we put our negative. So 5 times 6 is 30, 30 times negative 3 is negative 90. Don't forget the negative, and of course we can write it down as G, X, Y. You can write the letters in any order or the pronumerals in any order, as long as you write them all down. G, X, Y, or X, Y, G, it doesn't matter. 5 times 6 is 30. 30 times negative 3 is negative 90. Negative 90, G, X, Y, is our final answer. Okay, guys, last three examples. We have negative X times negative 5 times Y. Well, same rules apply. Negative x times negative 5 times y. We know that negative x times negative 5, when we have two negatives, we cancel them out. They are gone. So 5 or x times 5 is 5x. 5x times y, 5xy. So negative x times negative 5 times y. The two negatives cancel each other out in multiplication. So x times 5 is 5x times y, 5xy. Here we have negative 6g times 3g. Negative 6 times 3, negative 18. And we know g times g is g squared. Very important in multiplication. g times g is g squared. It's like saying 5 times 5, 5 squared, or 10 times 10, 10 squared. Very important multiplication that you realize that. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. G times G is G squared. Last example. Negative 4M times negative 3N times negative 5P. Well, let's get started with the multiplication. We know we multiply everything together. We don't look for like terms at all. Multiplication, you times everything together. Negative 4 times negative 3. We know 
that they cancel. So 4 times 3 is 12. Then 12 times negative 5. So 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. So negative 4 times negative 3. The two negatives cancel. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. Now, M, N, P. We put our pronumerals. Negative 60, M, N, P is our final answer.